Windows. There are quite a few of them, but we're only dealing with six of them today. But my goal with this video is to shove each version of Windows inside of itself like some sort of weird onion of data collection and corporate greed. And we're going in reverse release order, so we'll get to watch Windows improve before our very eyes. So we're starting with Windows 11. We're going to be using VirtualBox for this, and I'm not sure if that's a huge mistake or not, but I guess we're going to find out. And I've already got each virtual machine already sort of set up, so we just have to install each one. There we go. Six gigabytes of pure corporate greed. That's not promising if it's already chugging. What do you mean it doesn't meet the minimum requirements? Command prompt. Oh my god, we got to edit the registry. Who's Sam? What? They put Sam in my computer. <laughs> it's literally called bypass TPM check. And then we're setting it to one. And apparently it's as simple as that. You go back, you go forward, and baba booey. There you go. I, I sure hope 100 gigabytes is enough. How fast will this go? I shouldn't have run this off my hard drive. Yep, I've already pegged the hard drive. It's getting a, a blisteringly fast between 5 and 40 megabytes per second. Guess we'll wait on this. Oh, look, it's gonna restart in six seconds. Let's cut that in half. This circle isn't even lined up with the middle of the Windows logo, and it's not lined up with the middle of the text either. It's done. Where's my data collection updates? Just that's, that's the Windows 10 just a moment screen. Just has a black background. I'm already going crazy and there's seven more OS's I have to install. No, I don't want to sign into Microsoft. No, at thankyou.com. Oh, it needs a fucking password. It seems as if we have to do more registry editing. Oh, my favorite. Did I type that right? We'll see. Oh, it worked. Okay. We're setting auto admin login to zero, default username to blank, and we're setting enable first login animation to zero. Not today, Microsoft. Name your device. Windows stapler. No, don't ask for the Windows login, please. It's asking me. I'll sign into my Microsoft account. We're sacrificing a Microsoft account today. No, I don't want to restore from a backup. What are you talking about? No, set up at a new PC. Do not want a pin. Fine. This is getting immediately deleted from my Microsoft account once I'm done with this little experiment that I'm doing. Okay, here's the part where I get to say, no, you don't get to have my information. Customize my experience. What does installing seven layers of Windows classify as? I don't want any of this stuff. Why does it want to shove it down my throat? I'm so happy I don't have Windows 11 right now. The day that Microsoft closes out of Windows 10 that is the day that I switch to Linux. Klein, Klein, skip. Please give us money. I'm a, we're a struggling indie company. I'm surprised it's even using its own interface. Your update is in progress. This could take 30 minutes. Oh my God. I got to move this to an SSD. Surely this worked. Surely I don't have to go through the out-of-box setup for Windows 11 again. I just want to say it's been an hour and we're just installing Windows 11. Oh, might be another hour. At least the hard disk isn't being absolutely pegged. I have some things to say about OneDrive. You want to back up your files? Let me move them out of the folder they're in while applications are trying to use it and then sync that and then corrupt everything in the process. That's a good thing as well. Well, got Windows 11. Now let's install Windows 10 inside of here. I, it would be really funny to have like little tiny boxes getting smaller and smaller, but I, I think I want a higher resolution. Shut up, OneDrive. We'll not be using OneDrive. All right, next OS. We're going to go with Windows 10 Pro. What is N? N for no. N for not the good version. N for November. There's got to be some point where this just stops working, right? Like, it's already been sitting on this screen for, like, five minutes. Oh my god, we ha we have reached a milestone. One percent. This is a terrible idea. I think we're moving about a percent per minute, so this is gonna take, like, a hundred minutes. It has been three hours. We got past the install page, which is really great. I don't really know what it's doing right now, so I guess I'll just be waiting on this. I was just about to turn it off. We got a screen with a mouse! Oh... That is a very high refresh rate. Why did my PC... Oh. 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 It... It... It is... Mmm. Alright, it's been many a day, and I've decided to install them separately and import them inside of each other. 
we'll just install Windows 10. I love installing Windows 10 because I don't have to sign into a Microsoft account. Yeah, this is way faster. Now it's going about two seconds per percent. It's gonna be a homunculus of Windows installations, I hope. Is it talking to me? Do I have sound? Make your computer easier to use. Cool. No, and we're gonna use an offline account. Thank you, Windows 10. You're so nice. I want a limited experience. Create a super memorable password. Balls. Next. Confirm my password. Balls. My security question. Um, what was my childhood nickname? Balls. Why do I have to have security questions on here? They're gonna all be balls. No, I don't want Microsoft Edge to do whatever it wants. Thank you, though. And we will be turning all of these off. This might take several minutes. That's good. I can set up Windows 8 while you're doing that. This is going to be the most confusing video ever to edit. This is Windows 8, right? Oh, cool. So they just haven't changed the logo since Windows 8 for Windows 10. All right. Hopefully this is a Windows 8 key. Yes! Windows 8 Pro! Uh, let's make it red. No. Uh, Windows 8's green. Stapler 8. What is, what is the express settings? Let Windows and apps use your name, account, picture, and advertising ID. We're going to be customizing that. Help improve Microsoft products. Wow, it's off by default? Dang, Microsoft. Microsoft, you've come a long way. Oh no, never mind. Won't be sharing any of that. Wow, it's fucking done already. Okay. Okay, Windows 7, my legitimate copy of Windows 7, running in the smallest window possible on my screen. I love how just different versions of Windows just have their interfaces slathered on top of each other. All right, install. This is going to take like literally two seconds. Except, holy, that was fast. Oh boy, it's running. Stapler 7. Windows 7 is running. Ooh, that was a nice sound. All right, let's get Arrow working. I just can't wait to see it. I don't even care about anything else in my entire life. This is going to be the first one that gives me problems, isn't it? Arrow, please. No. Let's use the Microsoft Troubleshooter, because that always works. Video card driver doesn't support arrow effects. Ow. Oh, oh I, I need to enable 3D acceleration, don't I? Dude, I'm going to cry. I need arrow. I need that delicious glass. I need to lick it. Please. Okay. Moment of truth. Ooh. Yes, that glassy goodness. All right, we got Windows 7. Ah, uh, glorious Windows XP using a literal command line interface. Okay, these installations get faster and faster. Setup will complete in approximately 39 minutes. Are you sure about that? I am not sure about that. I don't think it's going to be 39 minutes. I'll be back in supposedly 37 minutes. It's been two minutes and under a minute. My name is... X-Penis! No, not funny. Stapler XP. How original. Oh, we gotta get a product key. Man, why don't, why don't Windows installations have, like, music anymore? Oh, this is so cool. Finish. Oh, I wanted to hear more of that song. Whatever. Oh, I love that sound. Wonderful. Computer might be risk. I, I think it might. The farther back I go, the happier I am to see these icons and the way the interface looks. Install. Software you are installing is not passed Windows logo testing to verify it's compatible with Windows XP. Okay, continue. Nope, we're continuing anyway. Keep going. Uh, time to install Windows 2000, I think. Oh, cool. It's the same setup as uh, Windows XP. Uh, press enter. Okay. And I agree. Ooh, that's a nice logo. The older it gets, the nicer it looks to me for some reason. Oh, Windows 2000 is just going. Okay, I didn't touch anything. I can't wait to hear its startup sound. I have an obsession with Windows startup noises. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. During this time, your screen may flicker for a few few seconds. Maybe I should have read that. Emphasis on the flicker. All right, Windows 2000 professional setup. We don't need a password. And I don't really want it to be called that. I want it to be called Stapler-2000. All right, finish. Let me hear that startup sound. Let me hear it, please. I don't think we really want to connect this to the network. I'm just going to unplug the LAN. Next. Ooh. All right, everything crashed. I'm not even sure if the last clip recorded, but I am now prepared to shove every version of Windows inside of each other, starting with Windows 11. All right, Windows 10 and Windows 11. What a stupid accomplishment. Oh my God, what is it doing? Help, there's a virus on my computer. There actually might be. I've installed so much stuff today. Hey, it's sort of working. All right, what was my password? I think it was balls. Yep, that was correct. Wow, cool password. 
Oh my goodness, it's loading. It's only been like seven minutes. It's like I installed Windows 10 on a piece of bread. All right, well, I think it's loaded enough. Ooh, it's a little bit slow. Okay, I saw the start menu open and then it went away. Why? Give it back. Let me have my start menu. Oh my god, this is gonna take ages. It's finally stabilized. I now have two cursors, so that's cool. And task manager is opening. I made it do that like two minutes ago, so we'll see what that does. It's scanning for malware. Are you kidding me? Don't do that. You don't need to be scanning for malware. It's fine. There's no malware on here. The only malware is you messing my computer up, making it very slow. All right, this is super secure having this very far into my computer like that. All right, well, uh, I need Windows 8 in here, so I'm just gonna bloop. Probably fine. It's probably gonna take like an actual year to do it, but yep, it's moving like a pixel per business day. So see you in a hundred minutes. After ages of waiting, it is finally transferred. Start. Oh my God, I didn't think this was gonna work. Oh, never mind. Hello, it has been three months. I have spent some time trying to get nested AMD V to work within the next virtual machine, but let's take a look, shall we? So here is my current state. So you know how Windows 10 was incredibly slow and then Windows 8 just didn't load? For some reason, it is impossible to en enable this. And I, I did a bunch of research and you, you just can't. I mean, you could, you could run a command to check the box, but then when you go to run the virtual machine, it crashes. So I have a, a, a fun idea because I really, really just want to release this video at this point. And possibly there will be a part two in the future with VMware because I know it actually supports nested virtualization. So why did the background just change? What kind of feature is this? Anyway, let's see every single version of Windows that I just set up running at the same exact time plastered all over my screen. Okay, so we've already got Windows 11. We're going to put it here. Let's get Windows 10 going. Windows 10 is going to go here. Nope, don't be that large. You're going to be small because there's like four more of you. What the hell was my password? <laughs> I think it was balls. Okay, w Windows 8.1. Surely my recording software won't crash. What do you mean I'm almost done? I already did set this up. Remind me later. Okay, I don't think the graphics drivers are working right in Windows Windows 8.1, but this will have to do. Windows 7. Oh, uh, we could just start Windows normally. That's fine. We don't need startup repair. And while that's booting, let's just do Windows XP already. Because Windows... Ah! That actually scared me. <laughs> Here's Windows XP. You must restart your computer to apply these changes. Um, no. What changes are you talking about? Oh, God. Oh my god, it's been so long that I ha I did I ran out of time to activate Windows XP. Uh, oh, it lets me use it anyway. Isn't that great? Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I want to telephone a customer service representative to activate Windows. Hey, look at this cool tool I found. Oh, it worked. Amazing. I love software piracy. I mean, l activating genuine Windows. And then finally, Windows 2000. Here it comes. Oh... What? You may be a victim of software counterfeiting. What are you talking about? I didn't steal this version of Windows or what? I am the Windows surveillance man. I have every version of Windows open on my computer minus like seven of them. Okay, what do we do? Do we restart them all at once? That'll be funny. All right, go. Which one will win? I can't do it all at once. We're just going to do it really fast. Go, go, hurry, restart. Why is Windows 10 updating? No. Oh, Windows 8 is bad. Where's the, where's the power button? <laughs> Updated. Why are there updates on all of them? Restart. Obviously, some of these are going to win before the other one. There we go. Restart. Windows 2000. Do oh, it does have the option to restart. Go. Activate. Na no, ask me later. Okay. <laughs> I don't think Windows 8 is going to be anywhere close to being... Thank you for talking over me. I don't think Windows 8 is going to be anywhere close to being finished. Look at it. One of 25. But we did it. We ran every version of Windows all at once. Thank you, Windows 11. That's the video. Well, there we go. We have six versions of Windows running at once on my computer. How amazing is that? Stay tuned for part two sometime in the very far future where I use VMware and can actually nest them inside of each other. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Check out my music. And thank you for watching this uh, collage of chaos. Oh, Windows 8 is done. How amazing. Wait, I want to shut them all down all at once. Except for Windows 10. It's still updating. Okay, go. Shut down. You can just die go oh god where's the power button forgot where it was again oh it's up here shut down shut down turn off oh 
There we go. No, don't restart. There we go. End of video. Bye.